Mackie Motors in Lake City is the place to find new and certified used vehicles along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff. Find new roads at Mackie Motors in Lake City. Chatting with Carroll head coach Randy Beeson after a tough loss in Boone tonight under Franks. 46 to 40 was the final score and coach, tough loss for you guys. There were some moments in this game where you thought, wow, we just pulled a rabbit out of the hat. I mean, they did it twice. Uh, we'll get to that in just a moment, but uh, overall thoughts on a loss tonight that you probably feel like you left a lot of points out on the floor. Yeah, yeah, that was a tough one to take. Uh, we, we couldn't find a way to score there in the first half, especially, and uh, we played pretty good defense there, but uh, to score 11 points in a half is not usually going to get it done against almost anybody. So give Boone credit. Their 2-3 zone was tough, and they were active, that act, active hands. Uh, you know, anytime we brought the ball down, uh, we weren't getting the ball back. So uh, just had to do a better job of taking care of the basketball. But they did a good job of covering up Caleb Booth and making it tough for him. And we needed some other guys to step up and make some shots. And we didn't make enough shots tonight, that's for sure. 11 points in the first half. Come out in the third quarter, you're down 27 to 17 with about two minutes left. And then all heck breaks loose. Uh, I, I, I had to jot it down before, so I would not forget. You got an Evan Hammer layup with an and one. Caleb Booth steals the inbound pass, lays it in. So there's five points in about three seconds. He gets another steal, dishes it down to Mackey, and then Boone turns it over on a travel. Gus Collison hits a three to tie, 10 points in 35 seconds. First off, have you seen something like that before? <laughs> one, your team or any other team? And second of all, how did that happen? Uh, well, we didn't have to go against their zone. That's how we scored. Uh, you know, the guys did a good job of being active in the press and getting some deflections. And, uh, you know, uh, when we can get into our press, we feel like we have some opportunities there. And uh, they did a good job of completing some plays and finishing around the basket with an and one there and, and making a, a couple layups there. So, uh, yeah, it was a good stretch. But, unfortunately, that, you know, we couldn't sit in the press all night. And uh, it's hard to press off of a missed shot. So, yeah. Uh, you know, we got a tie ball game there, and I think we turned it over two straight possessions. They come down and score, uh, you know, so just too many turnovers. I think we had around 20 turnovers, and uh, once again, their zone gave us gave us fits. We didn't do a very good job of finding that, the high post area, and when we did deliver to the short corner, the short corner, uh, they made it tough. They're doubling and tripling, and all of a sudden, we turned it over from there. So give Boone credit. They, they fought hard. They're way better than what their record is. Uh, we knew they were going to be a lot better than what we played last time. And they knocked off DCG uh, last week as well. So they're definitely capable. So give all, all the credit to them. In the fourth quarter, they pulled away to an eight point lead. And then all of a sudden you guys closed the gap again, started off with a Caleb Booth three. He got fouled. So a four point play. Uh, a couple plays later, you get a free throw from Collison. He tied it for you guys twice tonight. Um, at that point, tied at 35, what was the game plan? What were you telling your guys? Because you, you had already seen one tie not go your way from that point on. Boone went on a run for the first one, and then they did it again on the second one. But what were you talking to, to the guys about at that point? Yeah, I think uh, at one spot there, you know, we we're still trying to force a turnover in our press, you know, and uh, they broke the press and shot a little seven-footer. That was kind of a contested one, which I thought was a good shot for us. We contested it, but... Of course, it rolled around the basket a little bit and it went in. So they got up two, and then we just turned it over again. You know, if, if anything, we at least got to get shots up and give ourselves a chance of making shots. And uh, the turnovers are just, you know, no opportunity of putting the ball in the basket. So, uh, you know, it's unfortunate. You, you know, you sit there in a timeout and say, here we go. Now it's time. Let's get a little run. Let's get a couple stops. And uh, Dilter ended up getting a layup there late in the game. We, we uh, didn't help and didn't get him fronted. So... Uh, you know, it's just one of those games, and uh, there's nothing we can do about it tonight. We got a big game tomorrow, uh, so the nice thing is we don't got to think about this one too much. We got to move on and be ready to go for tomorrow. I know you're still down, Caden Cook. Seemed like you went to the bench guys really early tonight. Trey Hunter, I saw him play for the first time this season. He got some good minutes. Everett Sampson came in, uh, saw him play probably more than I've seen this season. Are you just trying to keep some of those guys fresh because you know you got a big game tomorrow, or was that just kind of a, a strategy call going in to play some guys early? We're uh, just trying to find guys that will 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 do some good things for us. You know, take care of the basketball, finish around the basket, play good defense. You know, and uh, we we miss Caden Cook. I mean, he's it's he's a tough uh, he's got tough shoes to fill for anybody who's coming in and trying to do the things that he does for our team. So. Uh, but we said right from the start when he got hurt, no excuses. We got plenty of guys that can fill in spots. So 
uh, who knows when we're going to get him back. So, yeah, we're, we're definitely looking for someone to step up and be able to make some plays and do some things for us. So, uh, you know, those guys that don't usually get to play very much, you know, Zach Dirks came in the game and, and got some stops and did a really good job defensively for us. Uh, so, uh, you know, all those guys bring a little something to the table. And on games like this, where when things aren't, shots aren't falling, we're not taking care of the basketball. We're looking for a spark plug or someone to come in and do some of those things. So, uh, like I said, Zach Dirks did a good job defensively when he was in the game. Uh, Gus, as you can tell, uh, can make some shots, and he struggled to score in the first half, but hit a couple big threes late in the game. And uh, so, we just got to keep getting better. You know, it's a tough one to take. No one likes to lose, uh, but uh, there's a lot of basketball yet to be played, and we got to just keep getting a little bit better all the time. Unfortunately, it feels like the last few times I've talked to you, it's been these 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 close losses. Yeah. Uh, Next week, uh, busy week, you, you, I guess this week continues tomorrow. You've got Denison and Schleswig at home, a few conference games to wrap up the conference portion of the schedule, three of those this coming week, and then a couple non-conference games to wrap up the regular season. What are you guys hoping to do here in the next uh, week, week and a half until uh, postseason starts? Be better. <laughs> Take care of the basketball, make some shots. Uh, you know, every team you play is a little different. You know, this this team, their zone is more like winter set. You don't see winter set zone very often, but – uh, these guys did a good job of being all over the place and having active hands. So we got to take care of the basketball more uh, and and put the ball in the hole. We missed a lot of easy ones tonight. And uh, you know, a lot of guys making excuses and saying there's a lot of contact and all that stuff. And we got to be tougher, and mentally tougher, and just got to put the ball in the hole. So we'll keep working on that, and hopefully uh, we're ready to go for tomorrow. I appreciate your time, Coach. Uh, best of luck tomorrow at home against Denison Schleswig. Yeah, thanks for the coverage. That's Coach Beeson joining us here on KCIF.